Hey everyone, welcome back to Tapestry TV. I'm your host, Jonathan Lindsay. We've got a cool new guitar for you to check out today. Uh, something a little different from EVH. This is the new SA-126, uh, 126 Special, actually. And this is the quilted maple version uh, with a very cool purple top. I think purple is probably the most underrated guitar, or underrated guitar, underrated color in electric guitars out there. Uh, and you can ask Danish Pete about that too, and I think he'll agree. Purple is a very cool color. We should see it on more guitars, so happy to see it here. Um, now this is really an interesting guitar. So this is the signature guitar for Wolfgang, Eddie's son. And it's a decidedly un kind of Eddie Van Halen of a guitar. So I don't know if it's Wolfgang rebelling from uh, the EVH standards or if he's just uh, into different stuff and wanted to do something different. Because um, they really build this guitar for versatility. You'll know, first thing you notice, there's no Floyd Rose on here. There's no whammy bar at all, which uh, compared to any other EVH guitar, uh, I think it might be the only hardtail. I could be wrong on that, but uh, it is a hardtail. Got two humbuckers and it's a semi-hollow guitar too. So it's very much a big change for the EVH brand, uh, but very cool guitar. So let's take a little look at it here. A lot of this guitar is maple, uh, which some semi-hollow guitars are, some aren't. Uh, this is a maple top, and it's actually got a maple neck. It's a bolt-on maple neck, which feels really good in the hand. It's actually a satin finish on there. So it's gonna have some snap in the tone. It's not gonna be a, a real dark, muddy guitar unless you roll that tone down to make it dark. It is, uh, looks like mahogany for the back, and I'd read it's a basswood center block in there. So. It's gonna get you some of those tones that you'd get from like an ES-335 style guitar, but with that maple neck and the fact that it's quite shallow, it's got a lot of snap. So you're getting some of the solid body kind of tones. You can even get some somewhat fendery tones out of this guitar. Now, um, as I said, it is a lot thinner. So one of the things, first time playing this guitar today, I noticed it's very comfortable to sit and play. Some hollow bodies can be quite thick and they feel really big. Um, even I have a 335 at home and it's a very big guitar. It's not a guitar that I pick up and sit down on the couch and play. I'll, I'll put a strap on, stand up, um, but I, I never grab that. I always grab something smaller if I'm gonna sit on the couch and play. And this one is very comfortable to sit here and you probably could play this one on the couch. And it's got a little bit of volume acoustically. Probably more than a you know Strat or Les Paul would, so you could be unplugged, sitting there on the couch, just jamming away and getting a decent amount of tone. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to check out some serious tones. So here we go. Um, we are of course plugged into an EVH amp, EVH guitar. Got to do that. So this is the 5150 Iconic, um, and this is the little 15 water. This is a cool amp. I really dig this one because it's like packed full of all the power of the big 5150s that are hiding in the back there, uh, but it's only 15 watts, and it's even got, a, I think, a half power switch on there, so you can drop it down to real bedroom levels. Clean channel, dirty channel. Uh, it's got um, resonance, presence, reverb. It's got a burn and an overdrive, so lots of features packed in this little amp. There is an effects loop, which we are using today. I've got a uh, Earthquaker Dispatch Master in the loop because I love a little reverb and delay in there to make it nice and dreamy sounding. So we're not using the built-in spring reverb, we're using the Dispatch Master for the ambiance. So with that said, let's uh, dig into some tones on here and we'll start in the neck position with the tone all the way up on the guitar. <laughs> So 
it's got that warm neck pickup to it, you know, like you'd expect from say like a Gibson style guitar, but it's definitely got more top end, a little more clarity. Um, I've got the treble in the middle on here. I did roll back the presence a little bit to tame the top end a bit. Um, you'd probably find if you're running a bright amp with this all the way up, it might be a little on the bright side, but uh, it's got some nice clarity. Now, if you want to make it a little jazzier, roll that tone down. You could definitely play a jazz gig with this. You could play some blues. And um, let's check out middle setting here. Both pickups, both tones all the way up. Got some nice clucky tones in there, some of those almost telecaster-y uh, two pickups in parallel thing happening, which is pretty sweet. If we go just to the bridge pickup, it's probably gonna be a little hotter than the neck. Let's find out. <laughs> clarity but it's got muscle to it it's pretty powerful um, you can hear the amp in the clean channel is just starting to break up a little bit which makes me want a little more juice so let's kick it over into channel two um, there's a lot of gain in here right now I've got the gain quite low for channel two it's at about three just so we can get some more kind of bluesy tones because this guitar is all about versatility it's not you know the typical EVH shred machine. We can crank up the gain on there to test that out as well, but I wanted to really hear some little more bluesy tones. So let's do that uh, while we're still in the bridge pickup. <laughs> Nice. Let's uh, hear the same tone, but on the neck pickup. Ah, volume. to before we move on I have to do the old neck bend test since it's a hard tail and I love whammy bars so much I always want to bend the notes so when I don't have a whammy bar I gotta bend that neck so let's see how this one bends <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Well, that bolt-on maple neck is doing its job. It is very stiff, so you're not getting too much flex out of this one. Definitely guitars with mahogany necks, you can really bend those. So you get a little bit out of this, but not a whole lot. All right, let's crank the gain a bunch. Just the volume to taste here, let me see. Let's hear some high gain tones. It is, after all, an EVH guitar, and we are plugged into an EVH amp. Well, it can certainly handle the gain. And one thing I was noticing as I was playing, you've got really good access in the high register. So if you wanna be doing the weedly deedly stuff up here, you can get right up to that last fret really easily. And they're also using the uh, truss rod adjustment right there, the little spoke wheel, um, which I'm a big fan of because it's really easy to adjust your truss rod at any time with just about anything that you can kind of poke in there. So. Very nice for last minute tiny tweaks if you want to get the action as low as, as I like to have it. So that's pretty cool. Um, this definitely is a very unique guitar from the EVH catalog and it's definitely a very versatile guitar. So I think they set out, or what they set out to do, I think they did it. Um, you can get a lot of tones from here. You can get clean jazzy tones. You can get bluesy tones. You can get hard rock tones. You could use this in a pop setting and get lots of cool textures. Uh, it's probably gonna play really well with effects. The fact that it's semi-hollow, you get a bit of airiness to it. It's not quite as punchy as a solid body. And you can get really cool feedback with semi-hollow guitars, um, whether you want to or not. Uh, but uh, when you're doing more experimental things, you can really easily control the feedback with one of these. You don't have to work as hard to get it, which can be a lot of fun. So I think that's a pretty good overview today for the EVH SA-126 special in the lovely Quilted Maple signature guitar for Wolfgang Van Halen. And uh, you can check out his music online in addition to his very famous fathers, of course. Um, and you can check this guitar out online on our website, tapestrymusic.com. You can come into one of our stores, check it out in person, which is always way more fun because we love to see it in the stores. And I hope we do see you in here. And I hope that you watch our next video because it's been a blast. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.